Welcome to another benchmarking guide, this time for Bioshock Infinite, hosted by none other than the one and only... Ugh. Not me! Yay! Slick will be hosting Yay. it! Yay. Learn how to benchmark Bioshock Infinite with Slick. Look at his dreamy <laughs> eyes. Go away, go away, go away. Talk. Talk. I'm done. <laughs> Alright guys, so this benchmark is starting out on the Comstock Center Rooftops chapter, right after you get the shield upgrade. Uh, we're just going to walk through the warehouse storage area here in the back of the bar, and then go to the hook grabbing little part before you jump down and actually fight the guards. So we're just going to soar across the rooftops by grabbing onto these hooks here real quick. Um, one thing to note is in my benchmarking runs, I wait until I stop um, like shaking on the hooks until I'm in a more static position and then I jump to the next one just to make my pacing right. You can jump down and just wreck this guy's face um, because that's awesome. Go down the stairs here and then we're gonna go a little bit on the long way but it's just better for pacing and consistency. Throw a fireball over here to take care of those guys nice and quick and then kill these two on the right side. After dealing with that straggler I'm gonna take out this turret your shield should be able to defend you throughout this entire benchmark, pretty much, so I wouldn't worry too much. Um, right when I see this slot up here in between the pillar, I throw a fireball, because it helps take care of at least one or two guys. And then we're going to fight off the rest, there we go, we're going to fight off the rest of the police barge, and then kill the other police barge's turret, and clear off the deck a little bit. Oh, I missed that guy, but he'll be on the roof on the other side, so it's not a problem. Do, 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 do. And we get over to this roof, and we're clearing this roof as well. We're going to kind of do a snake pattern, just to make sure that we get everybody before we jump down. Oh, he got a little bit close, but... Oh, there we go. That works. And we'll come along here, and then I jump all the way down to the bottom of this next roof, but then I turn around. So then turn around here, and then jump individually on each box, just for better pacing and consistency. In through the room to the left, then go down the stairs, or look down the stairs, and then pause right here, and within a second or two your game should end once you look down the stairs. And that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This gives you some idea how we benchmark Bioshock Infinite, because we do believe in real-world benchmarks with real game run-throughs, so that you guys can replicate the results on your own and compare against our test benches, so you can make sure that you're you know, keeping us accountable for what we're doing on our side here, and you're making sure that you get the most fair possible results for the benchmarking that we do. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.